Long Beach City College presents the Long Beach Centennial Challenge Bowl. Join us as teams from six local high schools compete for prizes, including an all-expense-paid round trip to Washington, D.C. And now the host of the Long Beach Centennial Challenge Bowl, Dan Reddington. Hey! Thanks, Dan. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Long Beach Centennial Challenge Bowl. Over the next ten weeks, we'll be seeing teams from six local high schools. Jordan, St. Anthony, Wilson, Lakewood, Milliken, and Pauley. And we'll be finding out just how much they know about the United States Constitution and the history of the city of Long Beach. It's a double elimination tournament. That means you can lose one night and still get a chance to come back and win that prize trip to Washington, D.C. We'll talk about that later. Let's meet our teams. Tonight we have from Bellflower and our team captain, Kelly Hughes, a team. <laughs> <laughs> Kelly, why don't you introduce you. us to the rest of your teammates? Matt McNabb and Terry Don Sunday. All right. Yay! Matt and Terry Don, welcome to the Challenge Bowl. And from Kennedy, we have Julia Johnson. It says right here. Julia Johnson. Welcome, Julia. Thank you, Dan. And this is my teammate, Norm Hill and Laura Bader. Hi, well, Dan. welcome to the Challenge Bowl. Thank Here's you. the way it works. It's very simple. I'll read the questions because that's my job. You guys will answer the questions, and here's the way it works. The first person to hit the buzzer will be the one who gets the first chance to answer the question. You'll have three seconds. Now, if you're right, you'll hear this sound. That's right. And if you're wrong, you'll hear this sound. That's right. Now, if you're wrong, the team that didn't buzz in will get a chance to answer the question. Sounds easy? That's because it is. So, let's... <laughs> um, uh, sounds easy, so let's go. Uh, hands on the buzzers. The first round questions are worth five points. You guys all set? Yep. Let's hear it. Yeah, we're ready. Yeah, All right, we're ready. ready. Okay, here we go. How many lanes does an Olympic swimming pool have? Yes, Julia. Eight. Eight is correct. Yes. Yes. All right, very good. Our first team is on the board. All right. What corporation was founded by Charlie Chaplin, Mary Pickford? Yes, Matthew. United Artists. United Artists. Very good. Got the can on the buzzer. High score, five to five. All right, they're psyched, they're ready, they're hitting those buzzers. Who made the Rolling Stones sing, Let's Spend the Night Together? Yes. Oh, Norm, sorry, I'll finish the question now for Bellflower. Let's spend the night together as, Let's spend some time together. Yes, Kelly. Ed Sullivan is correct. Very good. Very good answer. All right. What English mystery writer said, give me a decent bottle of poison and I'll construct a... Yes. Yes, and I'll construct a perfect crime, Agatha Christie. Very good, Norm. And it's high score again. All right. Roll along. Which have a better chance of running you down on land? Alligators or crocodiles? Julia. Alligators it is. Yes. Yes. What 17th century explorer was buried with a pipe and a box of tobacco? Yes, very good. Sir Walter Raleigh. Very good, Laura. All right. Okay. How many seconds does an NBA team have to shoot after getting the ball? Matthew. 30 seconds. No, I'm sorry, that's wrong. Norm. No, I'm sorry, that's wrong. It's 24 seconds. 24 second clock. And it's expired on both of you. Here we go. <laughs> What Tim Rice and Andrew Lloyd Webber rock opera was turned into a film by Norman? Yes. With his hair. Yeah, no, I'm sorry, it's, it's not hair. Was turned by, filmed by Norman Jewison. Any guess over here, Bellflower? Yes, Matthew. Tommy? No. It was Jesus Christ Superstar. All right. What team did home run king Hank Aaron play his last major league game for? Milwaukee Brewers. Milwaukee Brewers is correct. Very good. Very good. Set it right there. All right. What general first commanded United Nations forces in the Korean War? Julia. General MacArthur. Very good. General MacArthur. All right. All right. Let's move on to our current events questions now. Still worth five points. Many authors have written about New York, and many have written about writing as a profession. But this author combined both ideas when he wrote The Bonfire of the Vanities. Oh. Yes, Laura. Tom Wolfe. Tom Wolfe is right. Very good, Laura. Tom Wolfe. Okay. Very good. 
Unlike college bowl games that are hosted in the same location each year, political conventions move from city to city. Where will the Republican na Laura. Atlanta. No, I'm sorry, Atlanta's not right. Where will the Republican National Convention for 1988 be held? Uh, yes, Kelly. New Orleans. New Orleans, that's right, New Orleans. Very good. The three major branches of the armed forces each have their own show group. The Air Force has its Thunderbirds, the Army has its Golden Knights, and the Navy has... The Blue Angel? The Blue Angel, very good, very good. All right, last question in this round. Politics in many Asian nations is often a family affair. When Chang Ching Kuo died last month, yes, Terry Don. Ling Li Tang Hui. Oh, I'm sorry. That maybe that's the wrong answer. We didn't finish the question. That's okay. You jumped in. You guys get to hear the rest of the question now. When Chang Ching Kuo died last month, what country did he leave without a premier, Laura? Korea. Oh, I'm sorry. The answer was Taiwan. <laughs> Taiwan. Okay. That's the end of our first round with the score. Kennedy, 40, and Bellflower, 15. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's go to round two. Same thing. Questions are worth five points. Hands on the buzzers. Here we go. Chance to catch up for Bellflower. Who portrayed Washington Post executive editor Benjamin Bradley in All the President's Men? Yes, no Robert one. Redford. No, I'm sorry, it was not Robert Redford. Yes, Kelly. Dustin Hoffman. No, I'm sorry, it was Jason Robards. Okay. All right. No effect on the score. What letter is on the left end of the middle row of letters on a typewriter keyboard? Yes, Matthew. A. A is correct. Very good. Very good. You can get a job in our secretarial pool after the show. <laughs> All right. What airfield did Charles Lindbergh land at to end his historic solo transatlantic flight? <laughs> yes, Laura. Paris? Or, or, or they Paris? I... <laughs> no, I'm sorry. That's wrong. Okay, you get another chance maybe to get it here. Three seconds. Three seconds, guys. Okay, I'm sorry. They don't know. It's Le Bourget Paris. Ah, yes. <laughs> An excellent year. Okay. What country would you come up in if you drilled a hole straight through the earth from Buenos Aires? <laughs> Why would you? <laughs> it's a hypothetical question. Yes, India? Terry Don. No, I'm sorry. Not India. Yes. Spain. No, but a heck of a guess. China. You would end up oh. in China. So <laughs> put the forks away and forget about doing it. All right. Who told a Senate committee, Billy Carter is not a buffoon, a boob, or a wacko? Yes, Laura. Billy Carter? Yes, very good. Billy Carter. Yes, that's right. Okay, very good. <laughs> what election loss caused Richard Nixon to say, you won't have Nixon to kick around anymore. Oh, a little before your time. It was the 1962 California gubernatorial election. Okay. He was lying. <laughs> what were Mo Howard, Larry Fine, and Curly Howard better? Uh, yes, Kelly. The Three Stooges. The Three Stooges. <laughs> right. All right. Very good. What amendment to the Constitution did the Hollywood Ten invoke before the House Committee on Un-American Activities? Oh, yes, the Laura. First Amendment? She said first. the First Amendment. No, I'm sorry, you're wrong. It's not the First Amendment. Oh. Oh, you can't buzz in again. I'm sorry. They get a free shot from the three-point line. Anybody know? Oh. Yes, Kelly. Fifth. The Fifth Amendment. Very good. Very, very good. Very good. What month is showing on the calendar when the Earth is nearest the sun. Julia. September? No, I'm sorry. Uh, it's not September. Yes, Terry Don. December. No. January. Uh, January. <laughs> yeah. What did an IBM 7090 computer calculate to 100,200? Uh, yes. Pi. Pi, yes. To 100,265 decimal places in 1961. <laughs> Someone had a lot of time on their hands. <laughs> the us of a recent... Oh, the U.S. of A. The us of... Okay. The U.S. of 
U.S. of A. recently celebrated its bicentennial. But this year, another nation that it Yes, Laura. Australia. Australia, right. Very good. Very, very good. Okay. Lyndon Johnson was the last president to die, leaving a, <laughs> leaving a very select club of living presidents. Name them. Norm. Ford, Carter, Reagan, and Nixon. Okay, we're going to have to ask, ask the judges. I guess, yes, Reagan is the living president. Uh, <laughs> no, there's, only, there's only three answers on the card, but, that's, but he's the president and he's still alive. This man has to say that. You get the points. Okay. To assist the President of the United States in implementing his policies is perhaps the most powerful cabinet member of all. Who is the present Secretary of State? Terry Don. George Schultz. That's right. Very good. Very good. In January of 1989, Ronald Reagan will turn the reins of power over to a new president, having served for two complete terms. Who was the last president? Yes, Laura. Eisenhower. Yes, Roy David Eisenhower. Very good. That's the end of round two. Let's see what our score is here. Our score is Kennedy, 65. Bellflower, 25. Okay, and I will be right back. 35. It's the last We'll be right back. Welcome back to the Challenge Bowl. Our score at the end of two rounds is Kennedy 65, yeah. Bellflower 35. Now, don't worry, you're 30 points down, but that's just three questions because in round three, the point totals double for each correct answer. You guys ready? Ready, ready to catch up? Ready to stage your rally? Ready. All right, hands on the buzzers. Here we go. First question. What child actor appeared in The Kid, Charlie, Chapton, Charlie Chaplin's first full-length film? Uh, judges, is she in? Kelly's in. Kelly, what was it? Jackie Cooper. Ooh. No, I'm sorry. No, no, you're close. It's Jackie Coogan. But you were so close. If you swallowed that last syllable, you would have had it. But you enunciated clearly, and, and we caught you. What symbolized justice and law to the Lone Ranger? Kelly. Silver bullet. Yes, yeah. a silver bullet. Very good. Very good. What first appeared at the corner of Euclid Avenue and East 105th Street, Cleveland, on August 5th, 1914? Laura. The first parking meter? No. I'm sorry. Any guess? Yes, Kelly. Traffic light. The first traffic light. Very good. Very good. Look at that now. Two questions and they're only one question behind. So they're staging a good rally. That's good. Who was the only U.S. president and vice president never elected to either office? Terry Don. Gerald Ford. Gerald Ford, correct. Yes. Very good. We have a tie score. It's getting exciting. Tie score, 60-60. Okay, now. All right. What New York Yankees star struck out 1,007? Julia. Babe Ruth. No, I'm sorry. It was not Babe Ruth. 1,710 times in his career. Terry Don. Mickey Mantle. Mickey Mantle, yes! Woo what a comeback. What a comeback. All right. What's the world's largest nonprofit, scientific, and educational organization? Hmm. Time's up. <laughs> the answer is the National Geographic Society. Oh, oh, yes. I knew that. Okay. I did too, because it was on the card. <laughs> what FBI operation sent agents disguised as Arabs fishing for crooked con... Abscam. Abscam, right. Very good. Score's tied again. Incredible. What's the point on the Earth's surface directly above an earthquake's... Oh, Epicenter. Right. Epicenter of the earthquake's focus. Very good. California question. <laughs> what radioactive 164-foot Tyrannosaurus Rex made the... No. Godzilla. Oh, Very good. No. Made the covers of Time and Newsweek. Oh, yeah. On a roll. Yeah. On a roll. Good guess. And jumped in there and had a thing. <laughs> What's the term for the physical disintegration of a nuclear reactor's core? Meltdown. Meltdown again. Very, very good. Very good. On a roll. His hand is glued to the buzzer. <laughs> All right. 
time for us to do some more current events questions now. Coming to power under elections called fraudulent and governing his country with restrictions that have led to a civil war, this man answers to the title President of Nicaragua. Who is he? Terry Don. Daniel Ortega. Daniel Ortega's right. Okay. All right. 180. Not too bad. Seldom in the history of American politics has a state been forced to impeach its governor. But right... Norm. Arizona. I'm sorry. But right now, Arizona is beginning <laughs> proceedings to remove its governor from office. Who is he? <laughs> Kelly. Ed Meekum. Evan Meekum. Very good. Very good. Very good. Swab it. Ed <laughs> Chief financial officers of state governments are seldom in the public eye. But a recent nomination by California Governor Jork Duke Majin is causing this potential state treasurer to be examined closely. Who? Norm. Dan Lundgren. Dan Lundgren. Very good. All right. I'll be All right. Good answer. Our final round three question. All politicians like to be associated with a popular cause or slogan. What presidential candidate heads the rainbow? Norm. Jesse Jackson. Jesse Jackson. All right. Okay. Uh, the score at the end of round three. Kennedy, what we say, 125, Bellflower, 95. All right. All right. Okay. All right. Before we get on to round four, with a very close score, and, and these guys can catch up, no problem, let's take a look at how the teams got here. Remember, it's a double elimination tournament, which means that the team that loses tonight goes into our elimination round, and they can play later on down the line and still have a chance to be in the championship round and win that round trip to Washington. The winner of tonight's game will go on to the winner's round, play another team later on, and then the winner from the winner's round will go on to the championship round against the winner from the eliminated round. And we'll explain that more to you <laughs> at a later date. <laughs> right now we have a little graphic we want to show up you on the screen there and to show you that next week we'll be featuring uh, Lakewood versus Milliken. And you can see these shows all week on Lakewood Channel 44, Long Beach Channel 32, 730 every night. Be yeah. there. All right, we're ready for round four. Remember, point total still, 10 points each. And let's go, you guys have only 30 points to catch up. That's just three questions. We're ready for round four? Ready. Let's do it. All right. Don't sound as psyched as you did at the beginning of the game. You're only down by 30. Let's go. All right. What delivery service operated between Missouri and California? Norm. Very good. Pony Express. All right, he's quick. What Detroit-based record company was founded by Barry Gordy Jr.? Motown. Motown Records it is. Detroit University. What airport saw Israeli commandos free 103 hostages on July 4th? And Debbie. And Debbie. Very good on and Debbie. All right, well, they've served out to a sizable lead here, but still have plenty of time to catch up if I read fast. <laughs> Who was the first U.S. president to hold a televised news conference? No, Truman. No, I'm sorry, it wasn't Truman. Any guests from Elbar? Terry Don. Eisenhower. Eisenhower was. Very good. Very good. Okay, good answer. Who was forced to return his Olympic gold medals after it was learned he had played semi pro? Norm. Jimmy Moore. Jimmy Moore. Right, very good. And they gave back to him later. What's the better known identity of John Merrick, the noble ogre of Victorian England? Laura. The elephant man. The elephant man, yes. Still unbought by Michael Jackson. <laughs> Who was voted the greatest athlete of the first half of the 20th century in an Associated Press poll? Greatest athlete of the first half of the 20th century. Yes, yes Matthew. Jesse Owens? Owens? No, I'm sorry. Any more guests over here from Kennedy? Take a stand. Okay, time's up. Who was Jim Thorpe? Oh. Jim Thorpe. He <laughs> said, we'll take your medals away, but you know you're really great. <laughs> <laughs> Who lives upstairs from Felix Unger and Oscar Madison in Neil Simon's The Odd Couple? Who lives upstairs? <laughs> Laura. The Bird Sisters? Ooh, very, uh, no. <laughs> it's close, but no. It was close, but no. <laughs> yes, Kelly. The pigeons. Yeah. Yes. Well, it's like Kelly staged a coup. Oh, I'm sorry. How many Olympic gold medals did Jesse Owens win in the 1936? Yes. Four. Four is right. Very good. All right. Come on, you guys. Not too far away yet. 185 to 115. Okay. Who was Richard Nixon's first chief of staff 
in the White House. Terry Don. Uh, oh. Ooh. Yes, anyone over here? Norm. Ehrlichman. No. Haldeman. H.R. Haldeman. Okay. All right, let's get some uh, current events questions here, and you guys can save face. <laughs> Education may not be our governor's most important priority, but to this man it is. Uh, yes, Kelly. Honig. William Honig, who is California's superintendent of schools? That's right. Very good. Few people who wore the Nazi uniform in World War II have achieved such... Yes, Norm. Kurt Waldheim. That's right. Who is the president of Austria? Austria. Kurt Waldheim. American flags are flying in numerous places around the world. In what location are U.S. warships... Norm. The Persian Gulf. Yes. It's like Norm has a subscription to time and the rest of us don't. All right. Once the closest of allies, this Central American president has now been indicted by Norm. Manuel Noriega. That's right. President of Panama. All right. That's it. That's in round four. And what's the final score here? Kennedy, 215. Bellflower, 125. Okay, you guys win. That's not bad, though. That's not bad. That's not bad. That's not a bad showing, though. They, they rallied from behind, and, and it was fun. It was exciting. And you guys watching there at home on this tape, that's where you can go. You know, if you get behind early, don't worry about it. Stick in there. Hands on the buzzers. You can catch up. No problem. All right. Well, we want to thank uh, everyone who came here tonight, the debate team here, all you guys for sticking with us, answering the questions, and uh, all the people who behind the scenes, the lovely people, the people we want to thank. And uh, that's it. That's all the time we have for the show. Join us every every night. Lakewood 44, Long Beach 32, 7.30 every night. Bye-bye.